Hi, and a very good day everyone. This is Abdurrahman Al Hamid. Welcome back again to another great tutorial. Today we are going to learn something new and different. We will use the LCD with Recabit and we will make a digital alarm with it. So let's get started. In this project, we need Recabit LCD with I2C module that work with 3.3 volt, 2 potentiometer, 3 growth to female wires, battery holder, cable ties, and a box. Grab the box and make holes for wire connection. Then attach rack a bit over here using cable ties. LCD will be placed in here and the potentiometer should be insert this way. Now let's make the circuit connection by following the diagram. Firstly connect LCD to the sixth groove port that made especially for it and then connect the potentiometer to the other groove ports. Well done. Now take out the micro bit and let's make the code. After connecting the micro bit, open your browser and search for make code editor. The first thing we're gonna do, go to extensions and search for Reka bit. We will add another extension called I2C. We will start by initializing the LCD. We click here and write this one. Here we write the address of the I2C module and it's going to be 39. Then we will show an icon on micro bit. Now let's display the time and the alarm. Now, if we click a button, we want to set the current time. So, let's make a variable and call it current hour. Make another one and call it current minute. And then set the current hour to the potentiometer. So we'll go here. But notice here, the potentiometer we are using can read values up to 1000 so we need to limit that to be in a range from 0 to 24 go to math constraint between 0 and 24 or 23 and drag this one over here one more thing we need to divide the value of the reading by 40 this way, the potentiometer will reach 23 at a full rotation. We will do the same for the minutes. Now, if we press P button, we want to set the alarm. Great, now let's make two functions to show the current time and the alarm. Click on function and make the first one and call it show current time What we have done just now is showing the current hour on the left side by setting this position and the current minute will be on the right side by setting this position. You will notice here we use this block and this will remove any fractions from the numbers. Now we will duplicate this whole function and make it for the alarm. Now 
Now let's get back over here and call these two functions. Show current time and show the alarm. After this, we will be turning on the alarm. Okay, great. Now to the next step. This loop will change the time every minute. The last step is turning off the alarm. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe and we will meet you again in another great project.